Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today I have a quick weigh-in for you, so let's go ahead and get started. So last week, as a reminder, I weighed, and this week I weighed, I know, I know, I'm so excited. That means I have lost five pounds in one week. Super excited, super excited. So let's talk about what I did a little bit different this Sweet. week. I counted calories. I know, crazy thought. <laughs> let's count calories and see um, where I fit in. <laughs> so um, I stuck with 1500 calories. If I worked out, then um, say I burned like 500 calories, I would then add 250 calories um, to my budget. And um, I gave myself like a little leeway of like, you know, stay in this range to be in the good calorie range. Now I do think I went over one day by a lot because I was basically trying to clean out my kitchen with anything that was, you know, considered too high <laughs> calories and just something that I knew that I wouldn't be able to to stop myself with. So that was like the first day. I was way over. I gained a few pounds and um, it was not pretty. <laughs> but for the rest of the week, I stayed on track. I tracked everything and I counted my calories. And I have to say, I love Weight Watchers. Do not get me wrong. I'm not going to come on here and say anything bad about Weight Watchers, but I do tend to find it easier that you can quickly look at the back of a package and look at the calories. Um, so I do like that. I don't like <laughs> that I have to count calories for like my fruits and veggies, but it is what it is. Um, so that is that. Um, but, you know, I think calories is the way that I'm going to go for a while. So that's that's my thought. <laughs> um, and obviously it worked this week. As you guys know from past experiences and past videos, um, I tend to do really well for like 10 days. And then I like go overboard. So with me knowing that, <laughs> I am going to push through it. I'm eating my 1500 calories and if I need some extra calories, I know that that's a day that I have to work out and burn some extra calories so that I can have um, an extra little snack if I want it. So that's what I'm currently Be doing. Be on the lookout for some new videos coming out of like what I eat in a days. I'll focus on calories, but then I'll also kind of show you what Weight Watchers would do as well, just to kind of see where Weight Watchers falls in the whole calorie counting thing. It's gonna take me some work though um, <laughs> to do all of that. Uh, it's a little time consuming, but easy to do. So I will be putting that out hopefully sometime um, this week. So be ready for that. Um, otherwise, that's how it's going. Um, for the Run Disney event, we didn't really, we were supposed to do three miles the other day. And what we ended up doing on Friday is my mom and I and my dad went to a health expo and we kind of walked around there and then we walked to a restaurant and walked back and everything. So we counted that as our three miles, even though it wasn't like a run for time, <laughs> three miles or anything. Um, so this week we will probably do like a 6.5 mile um, so that we can just kind of practice that 10K and kind of get some more miles in because we are down to like 30 days, 30 days. This past weekend was the Run Disney Princess event. So I've been watching all of those amazing videos that people are putting out and I'm just getting so excited about it. So before we know it, it's going to be here and I can't wait. So super excited about that. And yes, so super excited about my real ass, super excited about this run Disney. Did you know, fun fact, 
for every pound you lose, that is like four pounds off of your knees. Yeah, so my knees are going to be loving <laughs> that I'm losing weight and keeping it off. <laughs> so that is it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.